Hi there, good afternoon. Joe Zamko, Adair Home Central Oregon here. We're gonna get started here in just a moment. We're gonna be going over the Vaughn floor plan today. So I appreciate anybody and everybody that's gonna be joining us today. This uh, video will be live and available uh, on our YouTube. Um, so you can go ahead and walk through it, uh, review it. Um, if somebody can just uh, either raise their hand or uh, pop in the Q&A, just to let me know that you can hear me. Uh, in addition to that, uh, that you can see my screen, uh, which should be the house. Uh, you, the clients were already starting to move in there. So um, anyhow, this is a beautiful floor plan. It's our 2226 Vaughn plan. I absolutely love this house. We've built a ton of them in Central Oregon. Um, so it's a great home. So without further ado, I'm gonna start the video if you guys are all prepared. Um, I will be popping in, taking uh, questions and answers. So uh, whatever questions you may have uh, as we go through this today, um, go ahead and put them in the q and I will get to them as we go through it. Typically, I go through the video twice um, just to give you an idea um, of the home and all that good stuff. So we will take some time going through a couple times for you. Um, and then we will go from there. Um, so without that with uh with that we're going to get started here again my name is joe zamko uh central oregon home ownership counselor uh, here to kind of help build your dream home and get you all your customizations and all your options that you want to to really build that forever home for you so we're going to get started let me get this full screen for you guys back that up a tad here so Number one, I like to stop it right here. So this right here is an optional stone. Um, you can do it on the columns. Uh, you can do just columns. You can do along the front of the house um, and on the side of the garage. Um, I love the colors they chose, uh, both white and black on the exterior. That stone just really makes things pop. Um, so we're gonna kind of start going through the home here. I'm super stoked about this house. Um, really phenomenal clients to work with, such, such great selections throughout the home. You're going to see a lot of upgraded selections. Um, so we're going to start rolling through. So that's going right into the front door there. Got a linen closet right there. They did four can lights uh, in this great room area. And we go along through here. This kitchen is absolutely beautiful. I love the color. I love the cabinets. Uh, so you're not stuck with just one color of cabinets. We've got several selections when it comes to cabinets. Um, so they, they went for a darker island um, when it came to the, to the uh, cabinet island. And then uh, a lighter colored uh, quartz, which looks fantastic. I, I love the darker uh, color granite, which is actually on the other side there. Um, this is our gourmet kitchen layout. Um, what that means is you, you get the layout, but you also have the option to select our appliances, which is right now Whirlpool and KitchenAid. Um, we do not do fridges, um, but our standard um, would be a, a 30 inch range um, glass cooktop, uh, stainless steel dishwasher, and, uh, and a micro hood. So this is our gourmet layout um, with uh, gourmet kitchen appliances. Typically with, there would be a micro uh, in that box square over there. Um, some people ask, can I change the layout? Can I put the fridge on the end? Um, you can, you can kind of modify and customize um, the layout of this home um, to fit your needs. We did a rough in for pendant lights here. So the clients went ahead and, and uh, Put in their own pendant lights, uh, which looks awesome. I think it looks great. Uh, they did a lot of black hardware um, throughout, so you'll you'll see that, especially on the door handles, um, fixtures in the bathrooms, and things of that nature. Really spacious. This is our farmhouse sink on the left hand side. Extremely deep sink, a single hole on the corner there. Um, plenty of space to walk around and move around in this kitchen. I, I think it's very well laid out. Um, which gives people the ability to really uh, move comfortably uh, while still entertaining from the island, uh, which gives you a, a few seats right there. 
Um, you know, you could comfortably sit three or four people there. And then they did the full height backsplash in the kitchen. Typically standard is gonna be a six inch backsplash. Love the color combination, it just really pops, it looks great. Now we're gonna move down the hallway here. This is where the optional fourth bedroom is located. Um, so typically in this house, standard uh, would come a, a den um, with a half bath. Um, these folks upgraded to the, the full bathroom option. So pretty good sized room here. The trim, they did do full wrap trim around all the windows uh, and around all the doors. Um, they did do um, flat stock, uh, one by four trim around all the doors. Um, these are an upgraded door. Um, these are our five, five panel uh, shaker doors there. Um, so as you can see the upgraded bathroom here. Um, so it does have a, a walk-in shower there. Uh, the, the toilet and then also the uh, the vanity there. You can upgrade the vanity if you choose uh, to match cabinet selection. Um, so then you can have a cabinet inside that um, that bathroom there if you would if you would like. It's got a decent sized pantry as well in this home. Ceiling height in this house is eight foot ceilings. We do have a nine foot ceiling option, uh, which would raise the plate height of the house. It would give you an eight foot tall garage door. And then it would also give you a foot taller on all your windows and then your cabinets grow as well. So gives you just that much more space. Downstairs on the floor, it was a luxury plank vinyl. Um, that is an upgraded option selection through Adair. This right here is gonna be the, the loft space. Good size couch can fit there with TV entertainment center. Then moving right along here. If you notice when you look at the plans online, we did make an adjustment here. This is typically the utility room. We swapped the bathroom in the utility room just to be able to give more space um, for the bathroom, which I think it was a great, great idea that we put together. Uh, and it looks great. This is probably one of my favorite parts of this home is the windows in the primary suite. Um, just huge windows come standard vaulted like that. So um, it already comes vaulted. That's part of the roof line um, that comes standard with this home. Again, you got the five panel doors, you got the black hardware, our standard shelf and pole um, style that's wrapped in all the bathroom, I mean, uh, I apologize, the bedroom closets. Pretty much most of the closets are all gonna come standard with that setup, unless you opt for something different. Those are uh, two two by two windows, which add some additional light into this master suite here. And we're gonna go down and go right through the bathroom here. Dual vanity is standard inside of our master suites, uh, which is super nice. Um, I love the upgraded black fixtures, the tile surround around the soaker tub there. Again, these clients uh, did these light fixtures after construction was complete. There is a shower, tile shower right behind there. Six inch backsplash all the way around the kitchen sink. The bathroom sink, I'm sorry, guys. I'm gonna pause real quick and just see if anybody has any questions. Don't hesitate to uh, pop into the Q&A there and uh, let me know if you have any questions. If you don't, um, I'll continue uh, going right through the video here for you. All right, looks like, looks like we're rolling here. 
that's a dimmer switch there. I see a couple hands there. Um, you're more than welcome to pop into the uh, Q&A there. If you have a question, I'm happy to answer those for you. <laughs> We're gonna pop into the other bedrooms here. Decent sized bedrooms. I love how Adair organizes the bedrooms um, very nicely. They all come with a, a really good sized window. Um, a lot of our houses, I've seen customers put transom windows. Those are the kind of a long skinny windows you can put above kind of a bed section or just to add some additional lighting. Um, we do offer skylights. Some clients love to add some additional skylights to a home to get some additional lighting. They did a lot of recessed cam lights, which I absolutely love recessed cam lights. It definitely gives a lot of, a lot of light to the home and adds a lot of color. Here's the exterior elevation. So standard with our homes comes central AC and heat pump. So you're gonna get that central AC and heat pump um, for the whole entire home. Just gorgeous home. All right, if you guys would like, I'd be happy to run through the video again. Um, is anybody having luck? I don't see any chat questions or Q and A. Uh, Raise your hand if you'd like me to go through the video one more time. All right, perfect. I'll go through the video one more time. Um, I'll probably mention some things around financing, uh, how to get started, how the process works, um, just so we can kind of cover that information and be able to help and support any way we can for you. So again, my name is Joe Zamko, uh, Central Oregon Home Ownership Counselor. Um, here in the Redmond branch, uh, centrally located here and help to support you build your dream home. We do have uh, phenomenal realtor partners we partner with. So if you're just in the beginning stages, starting to look at land um, or, or wanting information on land or where, where the best spot to be is, um, we do have a team of real estate agents that we do partner with. Um, in addition to that, um, we do have our own internal financing company. Now, I don't know if you guys have heard the news, but this is phenomenal news. Conventional financing has gone up to a loan limit of $625,000. So um, a lot of people were hesitant um, as far as to, to build or buy or whatever the case may be, just because of the loan limits were, were pretty short, meaning there, it was only 548, 548,000. And that would cover the land, the home, and the site development. So with that giving us some extra room uh, to help clients with their budget, that new $625,000 limit has been uh, really phenomenal. And it's uh, only been available to our clients for about a week. So great opportunity uh, to sit down and talk to somebody. Um, one way that you can connect with us is on our, on our Dare Homes website page. Um, we do have some phenomenal folks that are working with our online team uh, led by Lee Fox. Um, they do a great job of, of serving our clients, answering questions. Uh, they'd be happy to schedule an appointment at your convenience whenever works best for you. If you just want to learn more about the process, I encourage you to contact our online team. They'll set you up with somebody like myself. Um, we'll discuss budget, timeline, um, kind of expectation um, and we'll kind of discuss the whole nine yards. Um, so let me see, I got a question here. Down payment. So down payment is typically 5% down on the total projects. So that would be the land, the home and the site development, which is all encompassed in that financing number. Good question. You're welcome. Um, another thing uh, I really enjoy about Adair is uh, we have the ability to, to support you through the process. So 
we love helping our homeowners um, kind of handhold through the process. We've got a, a phenomenal team at, a, at all of our branches. Um, you start with somebody like myself, homeownership counselor. We help design your dream home, get all your customizations, get everything you want in your home. Um, a lot of times clients, if, if it's a budget concern, please make sure you work with your homeownership counselor. Focus on all the structural items of your home um, because of the, those are really the things that you can't change later. So you could always do granite or quartz countertops later. I know, I know nobody wants to hear that, but, <laughs> but just keep that in mind, you know, focus on structural stuff like vault, nine foot ceilings, um, just a lot of the other, uh, you know, other items that you, you can select and choose from. Um, I have a lot of clients do like 10 foot ceilings, um, vaults, fireplaces, um, those kinds of things are all, all really important because those are all things that adair warranties. So we do have warranties on, on all of our items that are in the home. So we got a 30 year warranty on our siding, which is a James Hardy concrete composite siding. We do have uh, Gelled Win, phenomenal manufacturer for our windows. You got a lifetime warranty on the windows. And then each of our manufacturers have warranties associated with the flooring. So each flooring is gonna have a different warranty, uh, maybe 25 year, maybe 50 year. Um, you would wanna check with the manufacturer to get all the information associated with the warranty and what it's covered. Um, we do have a 10 year structural warranty and our roof is a limited lifetime warranty. Um, we hand tab the shingles, glue underneath. Um, very good quality roof. Um, it's an architectural comp roof, which is a class A shingle that we utilize, um, which is, is the top rating for fire rating. So uh, very important, especially in some of those areas uh, where there is some fires um, or, or a chance of fires. Um, so then we, we, we got tons of options uh, in all of our showrooms. Um, you may be curious, oh, do you have, a, do you have a, a show house, you know, at your location? You know, we do have several homes in construction. So when, when you're ready to kind of chug on forward, we're happy to show you any of our homes in construction, walk you through them, kind of give you an idea of our quality of our cra uh, craftsmanship. Um, uh, I'm just so impressed by the quality of our homes. Um, our superintendents. Um, I'm going to get back here and, and also share. So what I love about our process is you start with me, a uh, homeownership counselor, then you move to our pre-construction team. And their sole goal is to help you uh, achieve getting all your site preparation complete. So your excavation, your utility trenching, your steps, decks, patios, septic, excavate, you know, the um, well, if needed, you know, all those kinds of things. Um, they're there to kind of support, answer questions. Um, we do have great subs that we work with, which we do have a sub list of, of companies that we partner with to accomplish a lot of your site work. Um, so that's, that's one thing that we have in our back pocket to help you. Uh, really yeah you can make the windows bigger absolutely um i have some clients that we have uh, six foot by six foot windows um so you can definitely make uh, windows larger um average cost for site development you know that's going to be a really difficult one because it's all lot lot specific i mean you can spend fifty thousand to one hundred and fifty thousand, two hundred thousand. um it just really depends on the lot acreage what it all needs, what utilities are there. Um, so there are, it's very complex. So I, I, I would encourage you if you have a, a lot that you're interested in or considering, um, definitely get in touch with a homeownership counselor so we can discuss it further and be able to kind of narrow down budget and costs as much as possible. Um, we do offer a complimentary site inspection. So once you have your pre-approval, we'll go out to the lot, talk home placement, uh, help gather bids and support you through that process so we can put together a total cost project. So, well, I hope you found this extremely informative. Um, this again is our 2226 Vaughn, which is our modern floor plan. Again, my name is Joe Zamko, uh, homeownership counselor here in Central Oregon. You can reach me at 
241-1192 with additional questions. Um, if you're ever curious of additional homes that we have in construction, definitely give us a, give us a call. We're here to help and support you along the process and uh, um, just proud to be working for a company that's been around since 1969. So we've got a lot of history. So yes, you're welcome. I'm happy we were able to connect on this call today and uh, continue to watch uh, other videos that we have. Um, we've got tons of them on our YouTube channel, um, adairhomes.com. Um, you, can, you can connect with folks there as well. So thanks again, everybody, for your time today. I appreciate it. And uh, have a great weekend.